This is a tutorial looking at task dependencies, looking at Google Sheets, ClickUp, Monday, Rike, Smartsheet, Notion, and finally Coda. In this dependency column, end up being a drop-down list that shows whatever's in column A. I pulled in the dependency start date here. See a cascading view of each task. If I change this start date, to another date, let's say I change this to 1015, all these dates will cascade down and you'll see that the Gantt chart kind of moves a little bit too. I have a ClickUp project here and I have the same exact list of tasks. If I want to set the dependency to instructor shoot, I click on these three dots and I click on dependencies. In waiting on, I can collect, I can add other tasks that this that there are dependencies for, you automatically can get a nice view of all the tasks. And if you click on Gantt chart, this is probably the most similar view to Google Sheets and is a little more kind of robust in terms of its uh, functionality. So let's move on and look at Monday. So Monday, again, we have the same list of tasks. You have to create all these multiple column types. So similar to Google Sheets, but has a limitation in terms of doing that automatic calculation of the task start date. So timeline, and you see kind of like a similar Gantt chart type of view of the tasks, but it's broken out by person, which I don't find that interesting. The interesting thing about Rike is you also can put in duration, start dates. You can also calculate the, the due date. Um, I just said start date plus duration. In order to do predecessors, however, you have to put in the row number of the predecessor. So for instance, test class site, its predecessor is four, which is class finishing. Let's go to Gantt chart. Let's take a look at this. This is actually similar to ClickUp in terms of visualizing the critical path of your project. I think what's also neat is you can actually adjust start date for things and automatically, similar to Google Sheets, it'll just move all the dates forward depending on when the start date is of your very first task. Similar to uh, Rike, you have to put in the predecessor row number, site copy, the predecessor is dependency is number two. And this is actually the most similar, I think, to Google Sheets, in my opinion. When you add dependencies, you automatically get all these settings. Smartsheet is very opinionated about how you can set up your dependencies. So if you want some custom dependency types, then it might be a little harder to do in Smartsheet, but having that kind of restriction gives you some more structure around Korean dependencies. Calendar view is uh, pretty similar to, to Rike and Monday. You can also drag and drop, move dates around like this. The dependency column is a relation column type. You can select two different types of uh, relation property types. So if I click on instructor shoot, you can see this is all the data associated with the instructor shoot row. So not a lot, not a close comparison to Google Sheets in terms of getting that kind of cascading dates um, or to Smartsheet. We're going to look at Coda. Coda, I have the same exact list of tasks. The dependency column is a lookup column to the all task table, which is this. So this is actually where you select the date of the very first task. So if I select something like 10.7, you notice that all these dates automatically cascade similar to Google Sheets. A little easier compared to the other platforms when it comes to writing formulas uh, because you can just write them out with Word. The Gantt chart view is, may not be as powerful as uh, Smartsheet or Rike or even ClickUp, but it does give you a basic Gantt chart view. And then finally, you can also view the same data. They're all connected as a calendar. So that is a summary of how to do task dependencies across various different platforms.